हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ आई एम विद द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ इंटर पार्टिकल अट्रैक्शन इंटर पार्टिकल स्पेस एंड मूवमेंट ऑफ द पार्टिकल इन थ्री स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ मॉलिकुलर डायग्राम राइट we already done molecular diagram in our previous video because uh, let me remind you that is in case of solids molecules are closely packed but in case of liquid they are less closely packed and in case of the gases the molecules or inter particles are least closely packed or loosely packed now on the basis of their molecular diagram Uh, we have to compare these three definitions: interparticle attraction, interparticle space, movement of the particle. Now you can see that as in case of the as in case of solids, molecules are closely packed. Every particle is stick with each other, right? Therefore, their attraction, interparticle attraction, is maximum, right? i already told you that interparticle attraction is depend upon interparticle space if space is minimum interparticle space is minimum then interparticle attraction is maximum now in case of solid so the molecules or particles are closely packed therefore they possess maximum attraction right maximum force of attraction and interparticle space now you can see that they are closely packed there is no space or we can say least interparticle space okay then move movement of the particle movement of the particle is also very easy to explain because there is no space so no particle move here and there right therefore but still according to kinetic theory of matter we know one thing particles are in continuous random motion right therefore in case of solids movement of the particle is about their mean position wo apne mean position par hi vibrate karte rahenge right then come to the second liquids now in case of liquids molecules are less closely packed means there is a space right so if there is a space then interparticle attraction becomes weak or we can say less force of attraction as compared to solids solids ke comparison mein wo jo force of attraction hai wo kya hai weak hai then in case of uh, interparticle space now you can see if space badh jayega unke beech mein to kya hoga unka interparticle attraction kya ho jayega weak ho jayega और स्पेस क्या हो जाएगा इंक्रीज हो जाएगा नाउ वी हैव टू कंपेयर द इंटर पार्टिकल स्पेस विद सॉलिड्स राइट यू कैन सी देर इज लिस्ट सो देर इज मोर इंटर पार्टिकल स्पेस एज कंपेयर टू सॉलिड्स ओके देन मूवमेंट ऑफ द पार्टिकल नाउ सी अगर वो लेस क्लोजली पैक्ड है इट मींस की स्पेस है तो पार्टिकल्स क्या है वो कंटिन्यूस रैंडम मोशन में है सो so, वो पार्टिकल्स क्या हो सकते हैं वो किधर भी डायरेक्शन में मूव कर सकते हैं बिकॉज वी नो दैट एवरी पार्टिकल इज इन कंटिन्यूस रैंडम मोशन देन मूव टू द थर्ड वन दैट इज गैसेस इन केस ऑफ गैसेस फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिकम्स वीक वेरी वीक लीस्ट फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन देन स्पेस क्या हो जाएगा फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन लीस्ट है तो स्पेस क्या हो जाएगा मैक्सिमम हो जाएगा and movement of the particle is what it is in random motion kyunki space wahan par kya ho gaya hai zyada ho gaya hai ab particles kya hai uske paas bahut sari direction hai movement ke liye therefore particle can move in random direction okay so this is the explanation of interparticle attraction interparticle space and movement of the particle on the basis of molecular diagram okay thank you so much